Hello, so this is Patrick Chanazon from the App Engine team. Uh, today I'm in London with uh, Reza Lotun from TweetDeck. Hi Reza, how are you doing today? Pretty good, Patrick. How are you doing? Great. Can you tell us uh, what TweetDeck, TweetDeck is for people who don't use it yet? Okay, great. Uh, so TweetDeck is a online kind of stream handler and organizer. So our biggest, sort of what we are essentially is a desktop client implemented on Adobe Air and a mobile offering currently on iPhone. Uh, but we have some plans to expand beyond that. Uh, so essentially what TweetDeck allows you to do is to organize kind of your real-time feed of information from Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn. It allows you to um, display your feed in the columns, which the feeling goes, you won't miss any sort of important updates and allow you to kind of segment the information you're interested in to, you know, stuff that's relevant to you. Great. So that's awesome to try. Okay, how do you, uh, so I, I noticed in the log uh, before coming here yeah. uh, that you were quite a heavy user of App Engine. Can you tell us about why are you using App Engine and, and how, what you're doing with it? Sure. Um, so our primary use case for App Engine is the mailing facility. Um, so we send every single automated mail uh, through App Engine, uh, namely if you're a new user, uh, if you've deleted your your, uh, your reset your password um, and any sort of mailings that we do to our user base. So uh, yeah, so it's our primary kind of mailing facility. We don't use any other provider, um, and that's probably our primary use case. Our secondary use case is to provide the tweet app recommends feed, which is a column of selected uh, users to follow on Twitter, which we curate. Um, it's not ad based right now. We don't accept payment at the moment. Uh, it's just meant to be a selection of interesting users. To to provide some means of discovery, which will, of course, tailor the future to be more intelligent. Um, we also use it internally for demo, demoing apps and uh, just playing around. Cool. Are you using cron jobs, task queues? Um... So we're using cron jobs, uh, namely for refreshing information from Twitter, which requires, requires constant polling um, for the latest updates in user profiles. Um, we're using, we're in the process of running task queues for our mailing service. And now that it's fairly stable, um, there was a question before about it. And uh, we're using, obviously, your old dispatcher in that sense, and, uh, and Memcache. Cool, great. So what do you like about App Engine? Well, uh, we love uh, Python, essentially. So we're a Python house, at least in the back end. And the fact that App Engine is a Python environment is amazing to us. Hey, that uh, will make Guido happy. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good job, Guido, by the way. Um, and uh, the fact that it's not a full virtualized environment, I don't have to worry about getting an image, starting it off on, on EC2 and, uh, and all that jazz. Sometimes you just want to deploy an app right away and just see how it, on, on, a, on, a, on a scale that you know, can handle users rather than just being a toy app. So it's great be, being able to marry the, the idea, the ease of prototyping and the ease of deployment in one sort of simple path. So are you using EC2 in parallel for other stuff? Yes. We use EC2 to serve our site and our API, uh, um, most uh, basically because it was available before when we started our backend work. App Engine wasn't really mature we offer all the services. Um, so we have this weird hybrid approach. We're truly a cloud-based company um, in that sense. I, I think there's lots of companies out there using both App Engine and EC2 in parallel uh, for different things. I think they're completely different environments. Each are suited to different tasks. Um, I don't think that will stop. I don't think App Engine should be EC2, nor should EC2 be App Engine in that sense. They're both great for what I want to do. So what, what are you missing in App Engine? What do you, uh, what do you not like? Uh, how could we, we make your life easier with it? Well, uh, App Engine has a great set of services that are very specific and targeted in what they do, which for us is fantastic. Um, it's a, in a sense, it's almost too simple for certain things. Um, because we're a heavy consumer of heavy user of the mailing facility, we would love more control over the status of sort of the mail queue, what's going on with the mail. Um, it's great that it's a, sim a single call that you can just send mail, but we, sometimes you need to know kind of what's going on with the mail, whether the user act has actually received it. Um, just something, something else. Yeah, so Obviously. more granular status level on the mail that was sent. Yeah, that sounds like a good one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It, that's the primary, that's the thing that we kind of 
wish we had more. There's also kind of an ambiguity on sort of where our code is running. So if we de did deploy a site, is it running on a server, a set of servers, how much computing power are we giving? Uh, just the beauty in App Engine is that you don't have to worry about that, but it's also great to have some insight into what's actually going on in the system. So there's kind of, it, you don't have to provide access to the system, but just a portal or some sort of stats API or something to let us know kind of what's going on there. Right. It's almost too simple in some senses. So uh, what you have in the developer console right now is not enough? You'd like to know a little bit more in-depth status? Uh, sometimes, for certain things. I mean, this is primarily linked to our, our, our experience with mail. Um, namely, um, our traffic varies by, by day, of course. Uh, most of our users are on the West Coast. So obviously when the traffic uh, on the mail system is really heavy, uh, it seems like some mail is dropped. And it'd be great to kind of just see an indication. This is related to the mail question, I suppose. But in, in a more general sense, on each service, kind of what are what is going on inside your service. Um, there's some great things with the mail cache. You can get stats on Probably just more of that for every different service, I would say. Um, yeah, that sounds like a, yeah. a good enhancement request as well. <laughs> okay, any last word? Um, no, I, I, I like how different App Engine is. I think um, it's a great sort of system. It's a different kind of cloud-based system. And the fact that it exists in contrast to kind of the standard uh, EC2 kind of clones is fantastic because I think there, it has its own niche in the market will be successful for certain, certain use cases. I think we're going to continue to use it. Um, Great. And we'll see how it goes in the future if we expand our services on it. Okay, thank you, Reza. Thank you. All right. And Hi. so, who are you and what are you working on? I'm Max. I'm the new mobile developer for the three-day, working on the Android client. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Want to download it. yeah. Looking forward to install that. <laughs> Hi, I'm James. I'm the um, user interface and user experience architect for TweetDeck. So, I'm uh, going to be working on the, uh, the mobile clients uh, with Max and also working on the desktop client as well. Great job. Great, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. I uh, look after the desktop development. Um, so, all the Airbase stuff, which is, is really cool. Cool, thanks. Hi, I'm Sol. Um, I also work on the desktop client. Good job. Thanks, guys. Cool.